guys, it's me, Sean Strong, your 2019 Mayesh Design Star, and I'm so very excited to be here in Upstairs Atlanta, where we're gonna be doing a pretty cool table setting for you guys. So we have some incredible products courtesy of Mayesh. We have our beautiful hellebores, Japanese sweet pea. We have fritillaria, muscari, checkered fritillaria, some brownie tulips, some jasmine, and we're gonna be working together to create something that's gonna be absolutely beautiful. We also have these incredible vessels from Accent Decor. Now these are cool little bud vases that we're gonna be using to line the whole entire table. So I cannot wait to show you guys what we're gonna be doing and we're gonna have a great time doing it. <laughs> so in lieu of having a centerpiece, sometimes it's nice to have another option for our clients. So we have these incredible bud vases over here and we have different sizes and what we're going to do is we're gonna start mixing and matching them together by putting flowers in them. So it's gonna create this really cool kind of effect on this whole entire table and it's a great alternative to an actual centerpiece. So I'm gonna first start with sweet pea. Now sweet pea is an absolutely beautiful flower and this is courtesy of Japan. And we're gonna mix a couple of these together. That way we can pick up all these different colors that are coming in and that way it can work with all these different tones that we have. We can see how these are gonna be pairing nicely with all of this that we have together. So what I like to do is make sure that we're all kind of even on these stems and making sure that we give them a nice fresh cut before we put them in the water. So we're gonna place these into the bud vase right here. So you can see that these already in the vase create a really cool impactful moment. By adding a lot of these together, it's gonna to really create some cool depth and texture, which is what you know we always want. So by adding things in like fritillaria, this right here is checkered fritillaria, and it's such a cool little gestural flower. Adding a couple of these in into the bud vases, along with, I don't know, maybe something like Scari, kind of picking up these blue tones in here, gonna really create a cool moment. I'm just gonna add a couple of these in right here just to create a little bit of shape. And again, some gesture for our bud vases. Again, fresh cut, make sure you guys are always giving your flowers a fresh cut. We like to make sure that they have the most available room to kind of drink. We wanna make sure that they can stay alive for our clients. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in our bud vase. And again, we're just kind of just placing them in there. There's not really like anything you can mess up by doing this. You're literally just creating little tiny bouquets and putting them in a bud vase. And again, right there, so cool. Add some candlelight, maybe some cheesecloth, a fabric underneath to kind of soften this. Now I like working with these accent decor vessels because they're very minimalistic. So by having something very simple like this, you're allowing the flower to kind of be at the showcase, which, you know, working with flowers, that's what we want to do. Now one of these really cool flowers are these brownie tulips right here. These have been really, really popular. These are actually dyed flowers. So they create this really, really cool color palette and by just pulling back and like reflexing these leaves right here, or these petals, you're really able to see kind of like all these variegated colors and these like lines and striations through the flower. Like isn't that stunning? So again, pairing this up over here, creating this elongated kind of tablescape is gonna create something really impactful for the eye. Give it a fresh cut. And make sure you guys are placing it in the vessel. We can already see how this is just coming along. So we're gonna start adding a couple more of these flowers in here. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. It's gonna be pretty cool. Underneath the brightest sky, anything can happen now, anything can happen. So obviously you don't need to get this grand whenever you're doing something like this for your client. You're more than welcome to put four or five of these bud vases and also some votives and make it just as intimate and romantic. I like working with multiple different color palettes, as you can see. So we have these blues that are pulling into these purples that are playing against these yellows. And it's nice to have that kind of contrast as long as you're working in that color wheel like we talked about in the last video. Now again, I like to be able to make sure that we have lots of kind of texture, lots of movement, lots of moments of interest for your guests and for you to enjoy. So this is something that you can incorporate at a wedding. This is something you can do for a dinner party. You can have this at a corporate event. This is something that's gonna really create an impact. Again, you can go this grand or you can go a little bit more intimate with just this and some candles. Thank you, Accent Decor, and of course, thank you, Mayesh. I'm so grateful to be working and partnering up with you guys. Y'all tag me and direct message me. I cannot wait to see how you guys interpret this. Thank you so very much, and I'll talk to y'all later on. Hey.